All right. Blank fucking screen. Why? Why are you doing this to me? Okay, so what I'm going to have to do, since it's not working, and I don't know how to redo it, I am going to go live on the phone. So go to YouTube. That's all I have to say. Just go to YouTube. Make sure you follow YouTube, and I will be live over there. I need a stand. Damn it. I can see you just fine. We got you? Really? Do you? I don't see me. What the hell? I don't see me, guys. I need to be able to see me. Guys. Hmm. I don't know what to do with this. Do I just... I don't know what you're seeing. <laughs> it's completely black screen. I could do it this way, I guess. I like seeing what I'm doing, though. I guess I don't need to see myself, I guess. I don't know. All right, well. All right, let me get music. Cheers, I made myself a mango margarita with tahini on the edges. All right, how weird, but yeah, I can see you. Okay, uh, you're a little far. I'll bring you to my bosom. Okay, hold on. Hi, Pink. Diggity, what's up? Uh, it's a it's a fucking black screen for me. I don't know what the hell I did. I'm gonna have to have my son look at it. All right, so TikTok, go to YouTube. Follow YouTube's, YouTube's, <laughs> YouTube's. I'm gonna put. Uh, I'm gonna plug in my um, my mic so you guys hear me nice and clear on YouTube. I hate that I don't see myself, but I see your comments. But I'm not really gonna talk to you. I'm gonna pretend that you're not here. It's always really weird. I don't. All right, whatever. We'll deal with it. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me now, Phyllis? Hello. 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 Can you guys hear me? Do, do I look okay? <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. Hold up. All right. So it's going to be an art sign read. YouTube, follow, link in the bio. Because I'm going to shut TikTok down. So make sure you follow over there. But so I have a question, guys. Ah, oh, shit. So when I release this, after I do the read and I release it, if I can't see me, is it going to record seeing me or is it just going to record audio? I don't know what to do here. We hear you and you look great. Thank you. Do I take a chance? If anything, they'll just listen to the read. Uh, if we can see you and hear you, record the same. Okay, I hope so. All right, then we're gonna go, we're gonna get to it. Okay, let me get music going. So how are we doing, how are we feeling? I'm not gonna engage with you because later on when people wanna watch it, they don't wanna hear all the hoopla. So I'm gonna pretend that you're kinda not there, but I needed the energy because I'm fucking tired. <laughs> I worked, I interviewed, I worked out, and I'm kinda, over it. All right. So it's time to believe in yourself. So we're going to put in, I believe in me meditation, My 528 Hertz. Rises, okay. Stick around kids. All right. So you don't have to be an earth sign for the read to resonate with you. If you found me, it just may be for you. Only take what resonates, leave the rest. Don't make it fit. If it doesn't fit, know that roles can be reversed. If I say it's you, it could be a person, and tarot is for entertainment purposes. All right. Rootsandrewards.com if you'd like to book a personal read with me. All right. Earth signs. Earth signs. What cards are we going to use here? Let's see. Patience. So 
maybe you're lacking patience with some things. Could be. Let's clear the energy out. If you're just joining on TikTok, I would suggest going over. Why? I would go over to YouTube. Links in the bio because I'm shutting down TikTok. Dude, like, what the fuck? All right, I see how it is, Earth Signs. Shit's going your way, and people are trying to get shit not to go with, not to go your way. Some people don't like that you're getting things the way that you would want. All right, I see it. So somebody or some some people are trying to maybe fuck with your stability a little bit. We're gonna see what it's about. Burning the uh, Palo Santo root chakra. Clearing a bitch out. Oh, smoking a bitch out. All right. We not having that negative Nancy around us, right? Deep breath in. And release. Wow. I really smoked it up good. TikTok, go over to YouTube. I'm shutting down TikTok after my little prayer. Okay. All right, TikTok, go over to YouTube. I'll see you over there, guys. Bye. Nobody wants to shut Okay. All right, YouTube, you got my full attention as I stare at the black screen. So somebody's trying to, like, shadow you. Maybe somebody has a blackened heart. <laughs> I don't fucking know. This has never happened. And I keep cursing. I'm not going to get any money from the video, but it's all right. Oh, the moon energy. How convenient. How convenient I split the deck with moon energy there. Moon. In the dark. Dark places. What's this about? Cancer Pisces. What's going on? Are you hiding something? Or is somebody hiding feelings? What's going on here, Earth Signs? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Earth signs. What's up? Okay. Uh, five of Swords is out. All right. There's sabotage. Lying, cheating, stealing happening. Wow. Somebody doesn't like seeing you succeed. Seeing you get what you want. So somebody's there. You're all cloaked. You're like in your little safety bubble here. Protective shield, right? And then there's somebody icy on the outside, looking like with their knife in hand, very cutting tongue, wanting to give harsh communication, possibly. Somebody's trying to sabotage things here. Hmm. Okay. What's this going? What's going on here? I feel so disconnected with you guys, old black. The emperor and the hangman. Okay. Aries, Pisces, Princess of Wands. Centering the read right now is this emperor. Is this you? I kind of feel like this is you guys. You're becoming more balanced, more established in your energy, boss energy here. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. You're fucking valuing yourself. You're like, bring it on. I'm valuable. I need more. I need investment. Give me more money. Give me more respect. Something happening here. I don't know what the fuck this is that's happening here. Princess of Coins and Princess of Wands. Somebody may have blonde hair, orange hair. Stuck stagnant energy. Wow. Somebody's stringing you along with the uh, with the hangman. You're just hanging upside down. Maybe you're cocooning yourself at this point. You're not moving too much. You're just like in this stillness. 
Maybe you have past history of being in moon energy, sabotaging yourself, having other people sabotage you, maybe hiding aspects of yourself here. Because there's the princesses. Princesses are pages. They're young energy, immature energy, you know, hit it, lick it, quit it, leave it. And uh, really given very little, like giving breadcrumbs. So you could have energies that are not giving enough to you. Um, and you want to be loved, right? You want to be loved and invested in with the green here. So you're connecting with your heart center. And justice. So you're getting things justified. Things are becoming balanced. Libra energy. So whatever is done in the dark will come to light. All right. So if there's feelings that are hidden, if there's somebody lying, cheating, stealing, it's going to come to light. But it's going to be balanced for you, Earth signs. It's going to be justified for you. All right, what's going on here? Knight of Swords. So there is communication from this icy individual. Maybe somebody ghosts you or somebody just... I don't know. I'm not really digging this person here that is in the Five of Swords. Hmm. I kind of feel like Somebody is plotting. That's the energy I feel from you. Plotting. Because you're off, you, you have your hood on, you have your little robe on or whatever, you have your head covered. You're covered in protection, right? And this person has like their sword kind of like behind, like this, peeking out. So I feel like Deceit. I feel deceit here. And plotting. Five of wands. There's, see? Oh, I'm not liking it. Competition. Fighting. Gossiping. This could just be gossip because of the sword. Swords are, you know, thoughts and communication. Harsh tongue. So, okay. So, you're minding your business, Earth Signs. You're minding your business. You're doing you. You're protecting your energy from thieves. From moon energy. And people have a problem with that. People have a problem that you aren't talking to them, that you aren't going towards them, that you're not begging for them, you're not chasing them. People got a problem with that. People are seeing, all right, this person is just sitting in their own energy, protected, highly blessed, highly protected. And these people aren't at your level because you're the emperor. So these are the peasants, the people that think that you're better than them. Not to say that you are better than them. You're a good person, yeah. But, you know, when people are jealous of us, they tend to feel like, oh, this person, who do you think you are? Right? But it's actually, they think they're better than us. It's not us thinking we're better than them. So you have more than these people, whether it's financially, uh, soulfully, and... Maybe as your girlfriends, maybe as your guy friends, like you're looking good, you're looking good, you're feeling good, you're getting your pentacles, you're getting your ace of pentacles, you're getting your stability. What's up, Mercedes? You're getting all good things here. These people don't like it. They're trying to throw some type of illusions. People are trying to make you an option. Like lay down to what I want of you. And you're just like, no. <laughs> No, I'm not going to lay down to what you want of me. Um, I'm not going to be put as an option. I'm not going to be put into illusions or into fantasy land. I'm going to stay in my stability. So people are trying to get you stuck. Pisces energy. People are trying to get you stuck. These people are not really giving too much. They're creeping in, but they're creeping in with illusions. They're creeping in to get into your minds, your your headspace. I feel like this is manipulative energy. 
it's different. I'm reading my cards all different. This just feels very, mm, I'm not really digging it. But it's justified for you. You come out justified, King of Coins, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. See, you come out sitting on your throne in your stability. You look good. I think you're very good looking. And I think you dress well. You you smell good. You have you have your shit together. And if you don't, that's what you're going to. Like you may not see this stability coming in for you with the moon, but it's coming in. This justice is coming in. Justice is being served to you on a gold platter. That's how it looks. Like success is being given to you. Who's this Knight of Swords? So this Libra, Gemini, Aquarius could be giving you some like nasty communication. What's this communication coming in from the Five of Swords? The Knight of Swords. I feel disconnected because I can't see. See you guys. It's coming in fast. Ace of Cups. Love energy. It's coming in fast. Or you, you just... This could just be you. Like, you're like, I'm out of here, deuces. Like, I'm out of here. Peace. Peace. I am going to love myself. I'm going to, I'm going to fill in myself into myself. Like I've never filled into myself. I'm going to love myself so much. I'm going to uplift myself and I'm just going to persevere forward. I'm moving forward. Uh, I'm going to become rooted with the red. And that's the way it is. I need to start taking allergy meds because I can't deal with this. So <laughs> centering the reader at this point, you have the Ace of Pentacles and you have the Ace of Cups. In the same row with the Emperor. And the Five of Wands. So now, now that I'm seeing the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles with the Five of Wands, I'm kind of feeling differently about this Five of Wands. I'm feeling very differently about this five of wands. So five of wands is usually like people competitive with us, people trying to fight us, people pulling at us. Like you probably got multiple people coming at your finest because you're good looking. You got, you got the goods. There's friendships, there's support. I feel like this is support. Supportive people are coming in to give you stability, to give you love energy here. As you turn away from whoever this is that's trying to sabotage you. Someone's trying to sabotage you. Fuck that. It's not going to work. <laughs> you're favored. You're connected. You're connected to source, so you're not going to work. Seven of Cups. So you probably have a lot of people trying to come at you. What's the seven of cups and the hangman? The six of wands, because people see that you're, you're being recognized and prioritized and being put above the crowd. So people want to, <laughs> there's somebody that wants to get stuck to you. They want to get stuck with you. They're coming in slow. All right. So they come in slow and steady. So that's not, that's not a bad thing. And they come with gifts in hand. They come in with blessings here. I like that. That's good. You're just like, you're up on the stage and you're just like, yeah, throw me my roses. Give me my roses. Like, it's time to give me my flowers. It's not going to take me dying for you to give me my flowers. Like, give me the respect where respect is due. Like, people, you probably have a history of people not showing you respect or care or concern or empathy or anything. Left out in the cold, icy, people, people just poof into thin air, right? But that's changing here. The King of Pentacles. What's up? Oh, the Two of Cups. The love. Oh, the Star Card. Oh, that's so nice. See? All right. So as you heal your wounds, you're being seen as a star. Look at this. Success, you got it. You got it coming. Popularity, you got it. Community, you got it. Love, soulmate, you got that coming in, or you may already have that here. Cancer energy, feeling really emotionally connected with somebody, pouring into one another. It's your time to shine, Earth Signs. 
You're shining real bright right now. And if you're not already, this is coming in within the next two months, possibly two weeks. You're slowly releasing that, that hurt, healing that heart. There may be somebody helping you heal your heart here. It doesn't always have to be a lover. This could be a friendship that you feel really emotionally connected to this person that is pouring into like nobody has ever poured into before. It's a little heart. Somebody got a whole lot of love. Kind of getting like um, Charlie Puth. Puth? Is that what his fucking name is? Like a lover boy. Hey, lover boy. Look at that picture of the guy on the bottom. Kind of reminds me of a person like that. A person that'll sing you love songs and write you little cute little things and stuff. All right, eight of wands. That, that's they're coming in hot. <laughs> coming in hot, hot, hot. <laughs> coming in hot for the motherfucking empress. Yeah, look at this. Emperor meets empress. Love it. Smash that like button for me, guys. Help me help you. Aries, Taurus, Libra energy. You both could be parents. We're just very, you're powerful. CEOs, you, you dictate. You're established. You got your shit together. You have your maturity. Real nice. Real nice. So that's what's coming in. Eight, eight of wands. Charging in the empress, charging in the emperor, whatever, whatever you are, there's somebody that comes in that matches your energy that is hot on you. And they're like running, they, they're coming fast for you. They may come fast the first time or two. <laughs> so, yeah. Mm. This is so good. That's how they that's how they look at you. Look at this. Look. As I take a little sippy sip. <laughs> this person's thirsty for you. They're like, I just need a little sip. Just need a little tasty taste. With Ace of Wands <laughs> cutting the deck. Ace of Wands, this person's highly attracted to you. You inspire them. They'll lift the fuck up over you. With the Ace of Cups, damn, you are just lining your fucking ducks in a row here, Earth Signs. Lining your shit up. The Ace of Wands, the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Emperor, and the Empress coming in. What the fuck? With the Star, with the Two of Cups, with the Six of Wands, with the Victory. All you need now is the, uh, what are we missing? Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, and... Ace of Swords. So the communication, it needs to be spoken about. So there could be love energy with somebody that has yet to be spoken about to you. The Ace of Swords is coming out. That's it. Because the Knight of the Knight of Swords is already out here. The Knight of Swords. So it's on its way. This communication is on its way. I see what's going on here. Somebody feels like they're going to sabotage. Somebody feels like someone here is going to sabotage them coming towards you with communication. This guy is looking at this woman. Like, are you going to stop me from going towards this person? Are you going to block it? Somebody's fearful of someone blocking this connection. Could be a friend. Could be another lover. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. What's happening? The wheel of fortune on the bottom of the deck. Come on. As you get... You, you have no idea. You're coming into riches. You are coming into abundance after sitting in boredom and dissatisfaction and not pleased with what the fuck you're being given. Look at this shit. So, yeah, 
people people are throwing you your roses. People are throwing flowers at you, throwing money at you, throwing thanks at you. Gratitude. There's gratitude for you coming in. You changed something recently. There, there has been like a change with you. Something about yourself you changed. Whether it's a perspective, you changed your environment, you, you've changed lovers, you've, you've gone to therapy or counseling, or you just, I don't know, you did something that caused this switch in the timeline for yourselves. Maybe cutting through that moon energy, being honest with yourself. Maybe you were masking your own intentions or, you know, masking what you really want or where you want to go. You're coming out of the seven of cups. You're coming out of the illusion. So the false narrative, the limited beliefs that you have going on. Four of cups in reverse. You got, you got a commitment coming in. You got the Hierophant coming in. So as you... As you make these changes, you become you become this harrowing, you become wiser. You you have a good ear, you have you're smart. You give good counsel. People look at you as very wise. You could probably be very spiritually gifted or inclined, religious here. Someone wants wants to be stuck to you. Committed because they feel like you just heal them. You heal them you, you give them love like no other. Your, your energy is like no other. It's unmatched energy with this person. That's why they're coming in saying, I want to commit to this. I see us going further. I see long, long term here. I'm not going to reject you. With the tennis swords in reverse, I'm not going to reject you. So this person's not going to reject you. Mm-mm. Queen of Coins, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Fellow, Earth Sign. They, no, they're not going to reject you. Mm -mm. They want to bring in celebrations. They want to drink and be merry with you. They want to bring you like a, a stable offer here. Ah, Ace of Swords, motherfuckers. Ace of Swords, what do they say? They want to bring security. They want to bring that clear communication. Listen. I got love for you. I feel like there's healing between us. I see that I'm learning from you. You could be a teacher because the Hierophant's a teacher, right? A spiritual teacher. You could even be a light worker. Somebody sees that. They're like, I don't want to hurt you. I don't want to reject you. I want to bring you stability and I want to bring you celebrations. And I'm going to tell you about this with the, the Ace of Swords in a row. Again, in a row. One, two, three. One, two, three. In the same row. <laughs> how did I say it was going to fall out? All four aces on the table. Listen, play lotto. Play lotto or scratch off or put some money on the table because... This doesn't come out like this very often. And it's followed with the Wheel of Fortune in the opposite row. Wheel of Fortune. So all this good shit roped into one. Don't put too much on it, right? Don't put too much because I don't believe in that. I'm like gambling too much, but hey, what the fuck? Put a dollar or two up, 10 bucks up on the lotto. You may hit something here. I feel like it, you're hitting a lotto with this person. This person is very abundant. Like both of you are showing that you are very abundant, very blessed. Like the emperor and the empress is the highest that you can go in the tarot. Besides the hierophant and, and um, the high priestess, which we haven't seen the high priestess yet, but we have the hierophant out here. This is looking really good. Nice. You got four aces. Stability, emotions, feeling good. Sex, your ambitions. Doesn't have to be sex. It could be ambitions, creativity. The communication between the two of you is good. You, you're going to connect very well with this person. 
And if this is not a person for you, because it doesn't always have to be a person, if it's not a person for you, this is just you gathering all this good shit for yourself. You're just like, okay, I can manifest anything that I want. Shit just comes to me effortlessly. Nothing is out of reach for me. Like you have to believe in the impossible. If you break down impossible is I'm possible. So anything is possible. But again, you have to, like I was saying before with the Qigong, you have to visualize you healing yourself. You have to visualize you being blessed in your energy. You have to see it. You have to see it in order to believe it and in order to manifest it. Because if you can't see that you can, you could drive that nice car, you'll never be put in that nice car. You'll stay in that Ford, right? So you really have to make that, make that change of perspective and start telling yourself, hell yeah, I could live in a mansion. Hell yeah, I could find the love of my life. Yes, it's possible. It's possible. There's people out there. You know, we get stuck in, all right, all these people are fucking idiots and all this bullshit, but there's a lot of people around you guys that are wanting to give to you, even, even Steven, even reciprocation, handing to you as you just sit there very comfortably in feminine energy doesn't matter if you're a guy or a girl. You're sitting in feminine energy. You're allowing people to give to you because that's the way it needs to be at this point in your life because you've been in masculine energy. Giving, 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 begging, 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 working, 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 being that provider, being that support for everybody else while everybody else is turning their back and being cold on you. It's time for you to go into femininity and say, okay, I need to be in my grace. I don't need to take action. People are now needing to come to me. No longer will I go to them. If they come to me, I will reciprocate that. If you don't come to me, I won't reciprocate it. So you're coming out of immaturity and insecurity here. Oh, good. You should be proud of it. I think you guys are really... Mm, you're just tasty. I think you guys are really... You have been looking at your wounds, looking at your traumas, and really depicting everything, looking at the shadow aspects of yourselves and healing that. Because that's the only way that you're going to get this good shit. If you can sit yourself down and see the good, the bad, and the ugly of yourselves and stop blaming other people, start you know, taking accountability, putting the blame on you a little bit, accepting it and then fixing it, right? Changing the, the behaviors and the habits of what, how you sit every day. How are you sitting every day? What are you telling yourself on a daily basis? Sit yourself down, write down, okay, today, all I did was think about this person and weep about it. All right. Well, tomorrow, anytime that you think about that person, you go to the gym or you put on happy go lucky music, you reroute your brain, you reprogram your brain. If an environment, if you feel like you, there's not a flow of energy, you know, you have no motivation to do anything, get your ass out of your house, take yourself to a different town. It's going to change your perspective and it's going to take you out of thinking the repetitiveness, the mental chatter. It's going to take you out of that. If you're just sitting around on the couch all day, get your ass up, do some stretching, go outside, get grounded. If you don't know what you're thinking, Start journaling, writing down. That's the only way that you're going to put things in perspective. And it took me a while to figure out, like, why, what am I doing? How, why am I keep going in this hamster wheel? Like, I don't know what, what, what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm thinking. I just know that I'm sad and I just don't feel like things are going my way. But what was I doing to keep myself in that, that energy? I was just going with in and out. In, day in, day out. Same thing, not changing anything. We have to change it. If you haven't cleaned your house, clean your fucking house. If you haven't cleaned your car, clean your car. Declutter, purify, purify your energy, purge. Purging is a great way to get the energy flowing, cleansing your space. All right, let's see. So who is this person? Hello, the world. You're going to be traveling the world with this person. 
person's traveling in for you. Oh my God, they want to get in your ass. All right. <laughs> my back is soaked, so they may want to squirt, squirt on your back. Um, okay. We want to go into sexy time. All right. We're doing sexy time, kids. So if you get offended by dirty talk or nudity in the cards, just find your way out of the read. Come again another day. <laughs> I think you're going to be coming a lot with this person. We got that goody goody sauce. Yeah, you're not going to be single much longer. You're cutting the cord on the single energy. High Priestess, what did I say? It's going to be coming out to match the Hierophant energy. So you are the High Priest. Oops, you are the High Priestess. You're very mysterious. Somebody feels like you're very mysterious and you're in, they can't read you too well. But they like it. They like it. They like how they don't know everything about you. Like, you got some tricks up your sleeve. Maybe in the bedroom you got tri tricks up your sleeve. Um... Somebody wants to know more about you. Could be a Pisces. Now petting the, petting the pussy. Petting the kitty. Look at the cat. Under her foot. All right. Some, somebody may have like a foot fetish. Somebody may like they're being tickled with feet. Somebody just wants to lay back and be pleasured. I think that's you, Earth Signs. You're just like, bitch, I'm so tired of putting in such the hard work. Like, I just want to be pleasured at this point. Just pleasure me at this point. You can be very quiet in the bed, too, or a little shy, a little timid in your energy. A little red riding hood here. Maybe you're afraid to take a bite of the apple. Mm. That's Snow White, right? But I'm, or maybe you're afraid that this person's like a big bad wolf and gonna gobble you up and spit you out. <laughs> uh, somebody may have been on house arrest. Or oh, you have an ankle bracelet. Gobble, gobble. Somebody may have big uh, canine teeth. Who's this person? Oh, shit. They want to give you a back massage. Oh, okay. Traveling in fast for you. Cancer energy. Queen of Pentacles. You're just like, yes, yes. <laughs> Rub my feet. Rub my feet. Rub my back as you pinch your nipples. <laughs> I'm just like, yes. Look it. Get down on your knees, my lord. You can go to work. Go to work. Rolling away from mental conflict. Get in my boat. Let's go. Where are you going? Let's go in the woods. You may like to do the naughty, naughty outside public places. And the Six of Cups. Somebody may be used to like pitching heads, chicken heads, getting head from everybody. I don't know about that, but we're, we're going to investigate that. Somebody has a lineup or somebody's had a line of sexual experiences. So they got a body camp. Somebody has a body count from childhood. I don't really feel like it's now. Um, something, 9-11's out here. So maybe you connect with 9-11, September 11th, November 9th, 66th, June 6th, November 6th, June 11th, June 9th, 69. And, okay, you're going to be 69 in here. Somebody's a little bit of a mule. 
they're hard-headed. <laughs> they're stubborn. You're dealing with the stubborn energy. But they will bow to your knees. They'll kiss your fucking feet. If you want them to kiss your feet, they'll kiss your feet. They're like, okay, princess. Like, they're going to treat you like a princess. I'm seeing a pineapple. So maybe you're in a swinging dynamic. It's not upside down. It's not an upside down pineapple. So maybe not. Maybe you just like pineapple. Or maybe somebody, oh, I got you. I got you. You're sweetening the juice up, huh? Okay. I got you. <laughs> Justice. Libra. Libra. Libra energy. Justice. So somebody feels like they have to come in and take you off the market to justify things. That's the only way that they can justify things is giving you a commitment. Laying you down and pleasuring you and committing to you. Somebody may like when you wear blue. It may look really nice in blue. You're getting it juicy for them. Yeah. Um, hmm. Somebody may have been molested when they were younger. Just got that. Possibly from an uncle. Doesn't have to be, but there's um, a dark haired man, but also a female knew about this interaction between this man and you. That caused you a lot of heartbreak. That was very challenging for you. But I feel like you're clearing that up. You don't have to hold on to that that shame of that situation. Yeah, you don't have to hold on to it. That got you stuck. If it if that was it, or maybe this is just an ex that like used and abused you, that treated, molested you. Basically, not molested you, but just mishandled you. Mishandled you. Maybe forced you to do certain sexual things that you really didn't want to do. Yeah. And it had you stuck for a while. Pisces energy. But that's clearing away. This two of cups is coming in. This soulmate here showing you romance and showing you a lot of softness. I've been eating pineapple lately because of constipation. You just ruined it for me, diggity. You just ruined it for me. <laughs> I saw the pineapple. Hey, do what it takes. Does that really help with constipation? Pineapple? Oh, that's not what I was thinking. I was thinking somebody is sweetening the juice up for you. So you take a good swallow. <laughs> They're not going to force it on you. <laughs> They're, they're hoping. <laughs> they're hoping. <laughs> also just got carrot cake and fucking, uh, what is it? Uh, the yogurt with the granola <laughs> on top. Somebody, parfaits. Oh, okay, pineapples on the parfait. Pineapple, raw mango, and papaya. <laughs> what is going on up there? Come on. <sighs> this person's manifesting you. I'm going to tie you not. Damn, they're going to wear you out. Mm -mm. Wearing your ass out. Damn. Yeah, tickling your shit underneath the table at the restaurant. They're just slowly raising their, their foot between your legs. As you have heart to heart conversations, could be 26. Hmm. June 2nd, February 6th. You could have been sitting at a crossroads with X and X. This X put all your dirty laundry out. Or though those people, um, this could be past friends that you're very close to. And now that you're no longer close to them, they're they're spewing out blah, 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 
they're spewing out all your dirty laundry. Um, but whatever. What are you going to do? <laughs> You'll get over it. It's not a big deal. That's why I say, accept all aspects of yourself. Even the, the shittiest of things. You're just like, okay, I did that. Yeah, okay. I'm not proud of it, but can I change it at this point? No, I can't change it at this point, so I have to accept it. So if you want to bring up my dirty laundry, go ahead. I'm sure you have your own skeletons in your fucking closet. You're, you're not. You're not You're not pure. So somebody may try to put you at a crossroads due to your, your past dirty laundry, but eh. you've already looked to yourself in the mirror and resolved that issue. Um, so it is what it is. It's balanced for you. Maybe wanting to go for a pedicure. I think you have really good posture. Somebody likes your posture. Like you probably I'm just seeing like chest back, not chest back, but shoulders back, chest out. But natural. I feel like you're very natural and you just have very nice posture. Not a lot of people have good posture. Somebody likes your posture. Somebody may want to have posture like you. Or maybe there's individuals that you just, you walk into a room and you walk in and just, you just got that vibe. Like you just command respect of a room. You have your head up high, you have your chin up. And some people, they have to walk with their head down, eyes down. They can't look at anybody. They can't smile at anybody. And you just walk in and you just you, right? You shine. People know that you're very valuable, that you're very blessed. And then you have a lot of lot to give. You sit in your stability. Somebody wants to get in the bed with you. This person can't wait to just wrap you under their armpit and just pull you close to them naked. That's it. They want you in their sheets. Some of you guys have been doing candle magic. I wouldn't suggest that. Unless it's on yourselves. <laughs> so maybe somebody's wishing on their candle. Maybe they just had a birthday and they blew out the, the candles. They're wishing for you. I can see candle work here. Or well, this person's just going to make very intimate settings for you guys. Just a room filled with candles. All different ones. Orange, red, and blue. Somebody make me like blue raspberry. All right. Let's see what's going on. We're going to switch up. Oh, yeah, I just want to pick you up and kiss, kiss you. Kiss you, lift you up. Maybe this person could throw your fucking legs around their head while standing up. They're strong like a bull. Okay? Look at that. A body. Oh my God. Look at the body. Somebody very strong. So I think, uh, yeah, I think they're able to pick you up and put your thighs around the neck. <laughs> Straddling the head while you're standing up. Be careful. Be careful with that. Don't lose balance. That, that's going to be a hot mess. <laughs> They want to get your ass. They admire your ass. They're just watching behind you like, oh, my God, look at those legs and that ass. <laughs> like, they're bowing. Like, I need to get in there. <laughs> so, yeah. Mm -hmm. They want to get a, a close view of it. They may want you to put on uh, heels. Maybe play with their, their sword. This person may have um not saber. Like sword collection. Like how she's standing there with the sword. This person may want you to do something like that. Maybe do like a little photo shoot of you holding their sword. I don't know. What are you doing?
maybe there's a little sexy toy that looks like a sword that they want to put in your head. I don't know what you're, I'm going way too deep in this one. I'm just like, what do you want to do with that sword? <laughs> in the ass crack, like, what are you doing there? What are you doing? You tell me. I got lost in that for a minute. So they may just get lost in your ass for a hot minute. Okay. Jeez. I'm blushing a little bit, guys. I'm blushing. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Animal spirit. I wish I could see. Wish I could see myself. Everything that happens in these reads happens for a reason. So there's a reason why it's blacked out. Maybe somebody blacked out. Drink too much, blacked out. Be careful and not over drinking. A golden egg. Mm -hmm. Very blessed. Stingray, you're getting in alignment. You're now allowing yourself to just flow. Flow and getting your shit together. You're getting everything together. You're gathering. You're gathering yourself up. Oh, my back. I just popped, popped my back. Yeah, they're going to blow your back out. They're stuck in your web. They want to be stuck to you. Stuck in your web. All right. Getting tired. Walking. Yeah. This person's not going to take their eyes off of you. Once they get their eyes on you, they're not going to be able to stop watching you and desiring you. Owl, come on. Night owl, this person may stay up late at night. They are a little cocky. Yeah, they got pride. They know that they're a hot piece of ass. <laughs> they, know. they know that they got a nice looking cock. <laughs> oh, they may have a tattoo with blues and greens. Or a, a tattoo of a peacock. Or even a cock. What the fuck? <laughs> All right. Well, eh, you know, to each its own. A lot of wisdom. I feel like you're the owl. I feel like you've been through so much in your life that you see all directions, all aspects. Like... Like I said at the beginning, I don't know if you guys heard me or not, because I was on TikTok. I came home and I was telling my son, yeah, I got this job and that job. He's like, how many jobs you need? How many jobs you get? And I'm like, well, I'm multifaceted. And he's like, he's like, what is that word? I, that's, it doesn't even make sense how you're using that word. I said, it makes a lot of sense. So it's like every angle, you've been through so much in your life that you see every angle of every situation. Like the owl could turn its head completely around, see it all, everything. Really? Why did that, what is going on? What the fuck is going on? Why did it just black out completely? Hmm. I think there's something that is being hidden from you. With how, like, this whole situation tonight, like, I can't see myself on the screen. It's a black screen. It just completely blacked out. The whole fucking screen just blacked out. I was like, it, did the battery just die? And then it just went back on. Like, something is hiding. Maybe it's this person. I don't know. I don't know. Something's hiding. Somebody may be hiding their love energy or like 
hiding. We gotta investigate that because I'm not, I don't know. Elephant, you got tough skin. I think you're very intellectual. I think you're very compassionate to people. And you're going to stomp out anybody that's trying to throw a fucking fire, like, fire under your ass or disrupt you. You're just going to snuff a bitch out. Like, don't fight. So maybe, yeah, people want to fight you. Fuck them. Sharking. You know, uh, I don't know. There, there's, there's people out for blood. I don't like that. I don't like that. Let's see what, because you're a cosmic egg. You see what I'm saying? Like the jealousy and the envy. You got a lot of jealous eyes and envy eyes on you. So what I suggest doing is cleansing out your energy, salt bath. I have a peacock tattoo. Got you. Um, cleansing your energy out with smoke, water, prayer. Ask for um, Archangel Thornton. For protection, ask Archangel Michael for protection. You may even want to ask Archangel Odin to show you whatever this this is that is like trying to mask you or block you. Because I'm just, there's a lot of black. The screen just went black. The screen is black right now. I can't see nothing. But you can see me, Right? So you can see me, but I can't see you. So there's somebody watching you. You don't know they're watching you, but they're watching you. And they're hiding the fact that they're watching you. I got it. Okay. I, I see you. You can't hide. <laughs> this is not going to be able to be hidden from you. You're going to see it. Let's see who the fuck is watching. Go ahead. Watch, motherfuckers. Watch, because people are going to watch you succeed. They may be watching to see you fail and flop on your face, but I don't really feel that too much. There could be people doing that, but I feel like somebody's watching you in love and energy and admiration. But they don't want you to know that they're watching you. Who's hiding the fact that they're watching you? A lot of people, maybe. A lot of options. A lot of options. There's a lot of people that desire you sexually that are just, their their hands are on fire for you. Fire. Who's hiding? Who's watching you? That's it. There's somebody watching you. Multiple people are watching. Multiple people. But there's one in particular that's wanting to <laughs> that's wanting to bring you bliss. That they're hiding the fact that they're watching you. Who's this person watching the collective and hiding the fact that they're watching? Hmm. Pisces energy. Multiple people. Okay, so this you do have the envious eyes. And the people are trying to sabotage you. Remember the, the beginning of the read? The first card out was five of swords. That's people that see you succeed. They don't like, they're watching you. They're hiding the fact that they're watching you. They're hoping for your downfall. And they're hiding. They're hiding the fact that they're watching. Multiple people. So you have multiple people possibly gang stalking you, gossiping about you, hiding the fact that they want you to drop to your fucking knees. And they're mad because they ain't seeing that shit happen. They see love energy coming towards you. They see you feeling loved. They see that you're not no longer waiting around for shit to happen because it is happening. Sagittarius energy. You're becoming balanced. These people are becoming impatient. Because they're just like, when is when is my candle work going to work? When's my spell work going to work? When's my evil eye? When's when's my 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 uh my sharp tongue going to affect this person? It's not. Because you're highly blessed and highly favored. So 
that's how that works. So you could have a Pisces, Sagittarius watching you, hiding. But there's love energy centering here. So halfway, halfway is people are mad at it that you're getting what you want. They see that you've got love energy coming in with the Knight of Cups. And then the other half is like, I'm coming to you with love energy. But somebody's tempering. So the other half of this collective is this person is tempering their love energy. They're staying hidden from you at the moment, but they're tempering themselves, but they want to come in with love energy. So let's see that. Let's see the good side of the black and masking people that are watching you that don't want to don't want you to know that they're watching you. What are those people? So these are the people that actually want good for you. That got love energy for you, Ace of Cups. That want to come in and love the fuck out of you. Right? Sagittarius energy. Probably put boundaries up with this person. Queen of Swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You set boundaries with this person. You're using your intuition and you're just like, listen. If you're going to come to me with fuck shit, I don't want it. If you come to me with love, come to me with love. Come to me balanced. Otherwise, bye-bye. So that's what's going on with that. That person wants a relationship with you. Four of Wands. So somebody's hiding the fact that they want a relationship with you. And they want they that love for you. And they want a loving relationship with you. But you're icy. <laughs> you're icy. You may have a Siamese cat or a white cat. There's a whole bunch of birds around you. I think these are good, though. These birds that are around you are um, angels on the other side. These are doves. So one, two, three, four, five. You have five past loved ones on the other side guiding you to this connection. You're guiding this person. Maybe this is between the two of you. These spirits are between the two of you, pushing you together here. Somebody may like wearing gold. They wear gold necklaces. Maybe you wear like the, the head, head jewels in gold. Yeah, look at this. Yeah. <laughs> they can't wait. Look, the aces again. Aces, uh, ace of wands, ace of cups. Heavy attraction, a lot of love energy. Like this is going to be great sex. This is going to be really good sex because it's it's deep. This is depth in this relationship between you and this person. It's not just hit it, quit it, lick it. And it's not um, just unhealthy attachment. This is nice. This looks good. This looks really good for you guys. Oh, I'm getting tired, guys. Looks good. All right, let's move on. How long has it been? Oh my goodness, an hour? This is why I can't do live reads. I just go on and on and on. Yeah, that's what they want to do. On and on and on. Why are they hiding from the cosmic egg when they want to hold you? They want to hold the cosmic egg. They just feel like they're vulnerable to your energy. They like your gentle nature. I think they really love your eyes. You have like a very soft touch uh, to this person. Very soft. You may come up a little naive. Yeah, you could come up a little naive, but I think that's a facade, to be honest. People may perceive you as being naive and gullible, but you're the fucking, what were you? The owl and the elephant? People have their preconceived notions of the collective. Meanwhile, that's not really how you are. You're a badass. But, but you put this, you may put this little mask on for people 
to see what they're actually bringing towards you. I think you test people. Yeah, I'm gullible. Yeah, I'm naive. I'll let you think that I'm fucking stupid. So you either show me what you're bringing. So you see, <laughs> you're the owl. You see the shit before the shit plays out. But you allow the shit to play out. And then people perceive you as, oh, you're stupid, you're dumb, you're naive, you're gullible. Meanwhile, you've been sitting in the background waiting for the motherfucker to play the shit out. So it's like, I knew the whole time. But I'll let you think. I'll let you think that I'm naive and I'm fucking gullible. I'll let you think that way. Because if you're going to take me for granted, if you're going to come in and use and abuse me, I'll let you. I'll let you do it for a certain amount of time. And then... I'll stomp a bitch out, right? The elephant stomping the fire out when somebody's trying to do wrong by you. So I like that energy. It's good. All right. That couple love is heavy. Look at that. Oh my goodness. How cute. This was flipped up upside down on my deck over there. The lovers and the ace of cups. You can't make this shit up. You got a loving connection coming in. Possibly with a Gemini. You may like grilled octopus. There's an octopus holding the, the glass, right? Yeah. Squid. I like squid. Beautiful. You can't make this energy up. Look at all these nice cards coming, coming out together. It's like there's a lot of togetherness with this person coming together, matching together, like matching suit. Really, really nice. You may have a necklace with a crescent moon or a butterfly with a crescent moon attached to it. There also may be a flower on your hand or um, a lily pad or a... Um, what am I seeing here? Star of David. Maybe the name is David. Cute. The little eagles. You're a rare breed. You soar to greater heights. People, you and this person, I think you both vibrate really high. Oh, look how they have... The Oh, they're putting their little beaks together and they make a heart. I never noticed that before. You put your nose together. Do an Eskimo kisses with the person. Look how the eagles have their noses together. And it makes the shape of a heart. How fucking adorable. You're adorable. You're going to be adorable. You guys, when people see you guys together, they're just going to be like, that is an adorable fucking couple right there. <laughs> People are going to love to see you with this person because there's so much like love and like cuteness about you. I like it. Thank you. Eagles. So people will try, you know, the crows and the blackbirds will try to, to get at you and sneak up on you, but the eagle's wingspan, you're going to fly higher and soar higher, and they can't touch you. Like lead in love, not an ego. That's what you guys are doing. You're leading in love energy as other people are leading in their egos and bringing fucking bullshit to their lives. You're no longer bringing bullshit to your lives. Because you've, you've gone through that awakening. You've gone through that dark night of the soul. You've looked at yourself and accepted it. Whew. All right. That's good. What time is it? Oh, my goodness. I'm wearing myself out today. Plus, I made this drink pretty strong. It's making me sleepy. Oh. be a Libra. Scorpio Virgo. Don't regret. Like I said, if, if dirty laundry comes out, fuck it, whatever. Don't regret your actions. Don't regret 
walking away. You have a purpose here. You're going to show be, be shown your purpose. Be honest. Just be honest. Surrender things that don't. Don't regret leaving something behind. Don't regret surrendering something. As you surrender this thing, you're going to find your purpose here. Maybe doing blood work. Checking. Checking your uh, blood, the red and white blood count. Uh, maybe you have an infection going on or something like that. I can release my need to control. So you're releasing control of things. That's going to be really good for you. All right. Wow, you guys. Love me up. Loneliness is, you're not, you're coming out of loneliness. That's it. You're not going to feel lonely. And there's that success we saw. Lots and lots of success. So this is going to be a successful partnership. You're gaining success in your pentacles. You're gaining success in your own emotional well-being. I think all around well-being, you're going to feel really good. Really good. Ride the wave of goodness. What is going on now? Yeah. Golden Palace. What did I say? You're going to be in a mansion. You're going to be really good. Really good. Gaining your strength. You can be 44, 23, 32. 14. I kind of want the Monero. Zach. You're flipping between realms. I just saw you you go from like black and white to very colorful, colorful time. So into a new life. All that glitters, the mask being lifted, and you're getting the gold. I'm getting a leg up on things. And it's time to take a nap. Thank you, Spirit. Spirit's telling me, shut it down. You got to go sleep. I haven't busted my eyes at all today. So take a nap. Needing to rest. Allow yourself to rest. Allow yourself to feel comfortable. Allow yourself to feel the peace that's coming in here because doors are opening up now. You're no longer sitting in the past. You're no longer worrying about the future. You're really coming into the here and now. Looks good. All right. And then we're going to do one more and then I have to sit my ass down because I can't even keep my eyes open right now. Okay, Monero, let's see the sexiness. That is, that is. They like this. Creating a new self. There you go, Libra energy. You're becoming a different version of yourself, a better version, a higher version of yourself. You connect with Japan or uh, China. You may like cherry blossoms. The lightness of being. So, okay. So you are. You're changing yourself and you're going into a lighter time. We need some Leos in this? No, we don't. <laughs> Linda. No. <laughs> Lindo. <laughs> Lindo. Lindo. Um, there was no Leo energy. None. Leos got me fucked up. It could be. I didn't see Leo energy. Uh, like a flower in spring. You just, you're blossoming so nicely. You're coming out of the, the icy freeze that you've been in. And you're looking really sexy and really relaxed. And ready. Ready to be rejuvenated and ready to be well taken care of. Taurus energy. A lot of Libra energy, so a lot of balance. No longer having those strings attached. No longer energetically handcuffed to your past situation. Mm -mm. 
No. Somebody may want to put handcuffs on you, yes, as they pleasure you, but or or red rope. They may want to rope your ass up. Um, have fun with that. Five. May 18th, May 25th. For better or worse, that's what this person's coming in. This person wants to be your knight in shining armor. Kind of looks like Orlando Bloom a little bit, possibly. Protecting you, supporting you, Virgo energy. Or is that, is that Aries? I'm not sure. Take it for what it's worth. I mean, I like dragons. The fire of desire. Yeah. Let me take a little nibble of your nipple there. Fire of desire. Dragon. Oh, there you go. Here you go. Leo energy. Loving and trusting yourself. There you go. There's some Leo energy for you. We're going to end it there. Loving and trusting yourself. So looking yourself in the mirror, being honest with yourself, understanding your purpose, and not allowing anybody to disrupt you. Maybe a painter, you may be very artistic, maybe pale skin. Somebody's very protective over you. What is going on? Again? <laughs> it blacked out again. So this person that is hiding the fact that they're watching you wants to protect you or is protecting you. That's why they're hiding at this point. It's not time for them to come in for you. They still got to figure shit out. That's why they're hiding. That's what I got, guys. I got to go put myself to bed. People are watching you guys come together with this person. They're watching you laugh with this person. They're watching you relax with this person. You guys could be from opposite nationality. Somebody could be black, the other person white. Um, people are in your motherfucking business. People put themselves next to you to see what are they talking about. Like, well, what are we in fifth grade here? Mind your business. <laughs> you may be even telling people, like, mind your motherfucking business. Let them watch. Enjoy what you see. Because this is this is a really nice, this is a really nice relationship coming in for you guys. So probably a lot of people don't have this type of relationship in a lifetime that you're getting here. So don't worry about it. They're going to try to sabotage it. It's not going to happen. Because remember, you're protected and you're blessed. <sighs> That's what I got. All right. Enjoy, guys. Um, I'm live every Thursday night, 7 p.m. Eastern time, over on TikTok, here on YouTube. Everything's going to be in the description box below. Hope you enjoyed. Hope it did resonate. Hope it gave you clarity. I have an Amazon wish list also in my link tree link. If anybody wants to purchase cards, I could use a couple new decks. I'm getting a little bored. Um, I have to look into, I want more decks with like actual words. Um, I don't know if I have anything on there, but I got to look. We'll see. But that's what I have. And I grabbed my, my rose quartz. So love on you. That's number one priority. Love on you. Love you so much that no matter who comes near you, they need to love you the same way you love you. So love you how you want to be loved by other people. Get that down. Don't worry about this person coming in. Don't worry about anything else besides what makes you happy. Making sure that people are bringing you exactly what you deserve and that you want. But you have to first figure out what you want and what you deserve, right? So figure your shit out. And then you can manifest your heart's desire in any situation. Regardless of what it is. You're going to manifest what you want. All right?
I'm gonna go to sleep now. I hope you're able to see me when I release this video. It's been a little uncomfortable for me during this read, not being able to see the cards in front of me and how it looks and the vibe of it. So I'm hoping that you caught the vibe <laughs> of this read because it was a fucking amazing, amazing read. I claim it. If you want this type of relationship to come in, put it in the chat now. I claim I want this. This relationship is already mine. I'm claiming it. I'm claiming the success in this relationship. I'm claiming this love relationship to come into me. It's already mine. So claim it. If you want it, claim it. Put it out into the universe and then keep it pushing. Surrender it. I'll see you next time, guys. Next up is going to be water signs. Keep yourself in high regard. I'll see you later. Bye, guys.